so I just came back from my nail appointment. This is my nails. They look amazing. I'm honestly in love with them. They're like little rainbows and lilac clouds. I'll do like a little close up of them later. I was inspired by this photo. I'll put it up here. And yeah, honestly nailed it over there where I went to. I went to Shoreditch Nails in Dalston. It's such a pretty little salon and the vibe was so nice in there. Yeah, and the girls were so nice. So yeah, I had a great time. And now I'm going to put on some food because I'm a bit hungry. Make myself a coffee, get ready to go. I want to shoot a few photos today. Um, I've got some stuff to get done, like some photos to get done and sent off. And then, I this evening I've got a Nike workshop um, for because we're going live with the Nike. Now the Nike campaign, how exciting! By the time this video is up, that the Nike campaign will already be live because it's going up this weekend, um, and this vlog will be going up maybe next week. So you guys will have seen my Nike campaign. How exciting honestly i i just can't believe that i get to work with nike it's like literally my dream brand it's like at the top of my like dream partnerships list it's crazy so yeah i'm currently working on my third collaboration with office shoes and nike so yeah they're the air force ones you'll see them because yeah the poster will have already gone live but honestly insane and another thing, another crazy thing to go to go live this week, to happen this week, is guess what? Guess what? Okay, I gave you time to guess. Here's a hint. Jeans. Denim. What is my de denim dream brand? What is it? You guys know. It's Levi's. I have a Levi's collaboration, guys. What? I feel so lucky and grateful and you know, just just joy. I'm filled with joy at these opportunities that have been coming my way and I don't know. I just don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm shocked. And and I'm honored to be part of these campaigns. So yeah, it's it's been good. It's been a good month for me, you know, other than COVID. Uh Focusing on the positives rather than the negatives is always good and I find that to work really well for me. Um, that was a mosquito, sorry. So, yeah, so now what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna get, get to work, um, make some food first. That's priority number one. So let's go. Transition. You know that transition that people do when they're like, okay, cool, bye. Here's my lunch, vegetable curry and some paratha. <laughs> using this palette today it's the bright palette from beauty bay i've talked about it in my instagram before and it's so good like let me just show you these colors they're insane look look at this how beautiful just like all the colors of the rainbow so i've used i've been using this palette like ever since i got it and i've used the purples quite a lot and the greens quite a lot as well they are my fave two at the moment i haven't i've tried like the neutrals up here as well um and then i'm still yet to try the oranges and the pinks but today i think i'm going to go for what should i do what should i do today should i do green or purple i feel like i have to go for one that i've like already stuck to because i know that it's gonna work so i'm gonna go for purple let's do purple so i'm gonna start with the modern way and this is like the nicest shade this one of purple and it's like a true purple, whereas the other ones are more of like a mauve kind of like purple, like a ras grape, grape, I would call it grape. But this one's more of like a cool toned purple, which I like. I think it looks really good. The sparkle shades are honestly amazing. They are insane. I'm going to try this one, this sugar plum. 
There's a plum shade that's very accurate actually. I feel like the purple and the green looks really nice um, with brown, brown colored eyes as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the glitter shades, the fun, the fun stuff. So I'm gonna start. I've tried all three purple glitter shades and they are amazing. My faves are the spontaneous and I also love fairy tale to go like as a lighter shade over the top. So I'm gonna go in with this one first. That's what it looks like. I like to go in with a lighter one in the inner corner. The eye's done, but I'm gonna clean up and then I'm also gonna do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera and I will be back. All right, so I've done my eyeliner and my mascara and I used the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner, this one right here. And then I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof for my upper lash line. And for my lower lash line, I used the Glossier, the Glossier Lash Slick. I'm just going to do my lips. This is just like completely rubbed out, but this is the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. And then I'm going to use the MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This is like the little mini one that I got. So the last thing that I'm going to do is add a little something something to my inner corners. So I'm going to use a bright palette again and I'm going to use this shade Angel Cake. It's such a pretty shade. This one. This one. And I love, I've been loving adding it to my inner corners at the moment. And I'm done. Makeup is done. This is the final look. So we've got purple eye purple eyeshadow and yeah so now i actually have to film another video that i'm in the middle of filming that's going to go live tomorrow before this one essentially but yeah so you guys will see that video soon but i need to go outside and film some of it because well let's not give it away so yeah that's what i need to do now i also need to take a few photos and yeah let's get to work So I'm just at a Japanese restaurant. It's called Machiya. Machiya in around Western Square in Central. And I just decided to, you know, come and have a nice dinner by myself. Um, and I just went into TWG. So I wanted to come and pick up some tea. I just wanted to like be in Central London today because it was such a nice day. So I got my food. This is my chicken yakitori. And then I got salmon don. And I also got some sweet ginger tea. This smells so good. Okay, I'm about to have my first fab. Never heard of it. Never had one before. Do you want to run us through? Everyone in the UK knows, knows what a fab is, so probably everyone watching this, or well, half the people watching this will know. Okay. But a fab consists of three layers. <laughs> so, first off, you've got the ice lolly layer, which mm -hmm. is like, I think it's strawberry. I want to say strawberry. Okay. Then you've got like this, it's like a milky kind of like creamy layer. Yeah. And it's also strawberry, I think. Mm -hmm. And then you have chocolate layer with sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkles. Sprinkles? Sprinkles. <laughs> and it's just the best It looks like ever. a jam donut. Okay, why have you eaten like the bottom bit first? Because I like the top bit the best. Okay. I like to save that. So <laughs> <I like it. laughs> okay, um, and does it come in other flavors? No. This oh, is interesting. Trying the fab. Is it strawberry? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it is. It says strawberry fruity lollies. Oh. Milky, chalky strawberry. See, I wouldn't choose this. Like, if I was to see it and I see this description, I wouldn't choose it. Ooh. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> right? Oh my god, yeah, this is definitely, I mean, I haven't even tried these parts, but I feel like this is definitely the yeah. best. Mm -hmm. Why would they put that at the top? It ruins it, right? Well, it doesn't ruin it, because fabs are great, but you should be at the bottom. I finished the sneakers last night. This is what they look like. I love how they turned out. So I went for a pale pastel blue pastel lilac and then a darker lilac and yeah I'm such a fan 
um, because Kirsty said that she likes blue and purple, like pastels. So this is what I come up with for the design. And yeah, I'm so excited to give them to her. So I'm going to put blue laces on, on these. I'm just going to take off this AF1 that came like with the shoes and put them onto the laces as well. And then we're going to give her her present. I love them. You like? I love them. Hey guys, so it's currently Tuesday, the 3rd of November. I am going to be opening a couple of parcels this morning, so I thought I'd show you what I got. A few of the stuff is gifted from brands, so let's get into it. We have some skincare from Ren, and I love this brand. It's honestly such a good brand, and I used to use, there was one item that I used to use religiously and it was like the mask I think it was like a face mask and it made my feel my skin feel so nice after I used it so they sent me a few things and I'm really excited to try so I've got the clarifying clay cleanser and then we've got the clean oil clean jelly oil cleanser so I've got oily combination skin so I tend to go for products that are good for that and I feel like this one like oil cleansers are great then we've got a clean primer, Perfect Canvas Clean Primer, and I've already tried this one and it's really, really good. Then we've got some non-drying spot treatment, which is always good to have. I've also got like, I've got like a tiny little pimple there, so I might try it on that and see if it works. Then we've got the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. This one right here. And I don't, at the moment I don't use a, like a toner or a tonic, so... Yeah, I'll try this one out and see. Then we've also got um, the Global Protection Day Cream, the Ever Calm. Okay, moving on. We have something, a little something from Levi's. So I told you a little bit earlier, I think, I'm pretty sure I told you in this vlog that I have a Levi's club. Oh, crazy. So I've already shot. I've already shot the Levi's collab, I shot it last week um, and it was basically for a puffer jacket that's made from recycled materials. Um, it's made from, made from recycled plastic bottles and plastic waste. So I'll show you the puffer, I've already got that one, but this one is a separate something else. So this is the puffer jacket and I honestly love this one. Usually I have like one jacket or like one puffer that I wear basically all winter. I feel like this is going to be the one for this winter. Love the colour. It's also reversible so it's got like... Um, leopard print on the inside so if I'm feeling in a leopard print mood then I can switch it around and wear it the other way but yeah it's got pockets oh my god the pockets in this one is so good it's like fleece lined pockets which I find to be so nice because usually in pockets they don't feel nice on the inside so I feel like that's a really nice detail I like that a lot and yeah this is my puffer I got, also got this purple hoodie they just sent this out as an extra but it's also part of like the Cozy Up campaign, the autumn winter campaign. You love this one, it's like a lilac hoodie. It's gonna be so nice to just like chill and be cozy in. If I'm wanting to wear like a comfy outfit, this and some trackies or this and some jeans would be great. So yeah. Okay, so next I have some shoes from Shoe and I have a couple of pairs, I'm very excited about both of them. So the first pair are these Reeboks and I've wanted these for a while now and I just haven't gotten around to getting them but yeah they're great they're just like a classic white sneaker i like the silhouette of them and i'm keen to wear these very keen they are the reebok club c85 so the next pair that i'm very excited for are these vans how funky are these i love the purple they've got checkerboard and they're the old school style 
such a fan of these. I'm so excited to wear these. I haven't actually worn them out yet. They're completely brand new. So yeah, I'm going to photograph them today. I'm just going to shoot a few photos. So very excited for that. Okay, next we have a very pretty box from Miet. So this one is a little blue bag from their new collection. Oh, so pretty. So I love the quality of these ones because generally I'm not really like a designer bag person. So I like to go for more like smaller, you know, small boutique-y kind of brands for bags. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is it. How cute is it? So it comes with a little strap, which is the one I've just attached now, but they've also given a longer strap, which is great if I want to wear it as like a crossbody. And this is the back. It's got plenty of space on the inside. And I love the detailing on the inside. The purple is so nice. Okay, so next we have this delivery from this brand called Lena PJs. They're in lilac, like a lavender color. And they have like lots of different colors, but obviously, obviously it went for the lilac. And they've got like a green piping and I love the color combo of these two. It's actually so nice. I'll have everything that I've talked about linked in the description box below in case you're interested. So yeah.